Well, hello, my happy eaters. I hope all is well. Let's go ahead and jump in. You know how we do in Michelle's Kitchen. Um, today, guys, I'm going to be uh, basically just taking a mahi-mahi, and I'm going to put it in a roasting pan, and we're just going to bake. Only thing I'm pretty much going to do with you guys is share just some simple ingredients. Um, actually, I got this mahi-mahi. Uh, it was actually on sale. I think it was like 15 bucks, and I got it on sale for like $7 at the Kroger, but mahi mahi i've already i actually i wasn't going to do a video on this so i was like you know what hmm, let me go ahead and just do a video so i'm prepared but i'm not prepared but anyway here's the mahi mahi here i've already cleaned it and started to pat it dry i just put it in a pan so that i can be able to season it to its entirety so, like I said, I've already patted it dry for the most part. Um, I always let you guys know this is my first time with this. I have a salmon video out, but uh, Mahi Mahi, I guess it's about the same. I don't know. I'm sure it's a little different, but I'm just going to pat it dry. And I'm going to get rid of that. And all I'm going to do, guys, I've already got some ingredients laid out, and I may need to get some more time. But on my cutting board here, I just have a... This is a finger hot pepper, this is some garlic, and this is some butter, and I got some thyme here. You guys can see it there. I may go ahead and just put some more of that. And I also, since I have the butter, I'm not going to put any salt, but I do have some Tony's Creole seasoning, and this is some, uh, it's great for blackening. Not saying I want it to be that blackening. What's well, the flavor of the blackening? So this is Tony's Creole seasoning blackening. And instead of using a lemon, I'm actually going to use an orange. I'm going to take half of it and squeeze it over it. So let's just see. Like I said, in Michelle's Kitchen, it's all about getting in, doing different things, and seeing what works. So like I said, I have some butter here. I'm just going to cut half of this. And let me see if I have some gloves, guys. Hold on. Okay, I've got some gloves on here. I don't want to get too messy. But anyway, I got some butter. And like I said, this is my first time doing this um, mahi fish. Like I said, I got a video out on salmon. And, you know, I really need to start baking more seafood. I love seafood, but I can't say that I'm the best at preparing it. But uh, I need to really start, you know, because it's better for you um, as far as, a, you know, a uh, different meat alternative so i'm just going to take this butter and just you know rub it in gently over the the mahi and i said i wasn't going to put any salt because of the butter because we know that butter can tend to be salty but i'm assuming that this tony creole is going to have a little salt so we're just going to do a little sprinkle of that just so it can have a little uh different taste or a add a little flavor to it And this is pretty much a thick piece. I've already got my oven set on 425. So I'm thinking about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, like I said, I don't cook it very much. But uh, 15 minutes should do it. And we'll check and see. Let's try to get that butter in there good. This is pretty good. So probably only used about... Uh, you can just use your eyesight. I don't use that much. Maybe like tablespoon maybe I still got some of my gloves so let's put that in there good now all right I've already got some garlic it's gonna be messy yeah I should have been a little bit more prepared like I said I wasn't gonna do a video on it this is my first time so you guys just bear with me and as always, I suggest that you guys, you know, leave some comments. To, you know, what? how can I do it better next time? I'm not saying that this is not going to be good, but, you know. And I'm actually going to put this in a roasting pan so that steam can just cook it. I'm not going to cook it like this in a roasting pan. I've already got it laid out as well. So, I think that's good now. I'm going to take these off. This is going to cut down on some of the mess as far as my hands are concerned 
Now, I've got some garlic already going over here. I'm going to take and just kind of put it over it. And now there is a crease in here in the middle. I'm going to put some of those garlic pieces down into the crevices of this mahi mahi here. Hopefully you guys can see that there. I'm going to get this pepper cut up. Okay. Now, I got that finger hot pepper cut up. Here. I'm going to go ahead and now, like I said guys, I, this is my first time so just work with me. I got the garlic cut up. Big chunks, small chunks, you know, if you like garlic, this is perfect. And there's little crevices here. Got some garlic pushed down in there. Now I'm just going to sprinkle with the little Tony Creoles. It's a blackening seasoning. Just to give it a little, you know, that little Creole. And then we put that um, that lemon juice. Well, I'm sorry, not lemon, but the uh, orange on there. Give it a little citrusy flavor. I think it'll be great. Like I said, it's all about trying something different. Once again, I do have my um, oven on 425. It is ready, and I got the roasting pan. But what I forgot to tell you guys that you know what? Before I put the juice on there, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this. This is a long way here, and I'm just going to cut it into pieces. Use my kitchen scissors, not pieces, pieces, but you know, parts. I'm gonna let me see how many we might get. I'm gonna make this actually one piece here, and this is this fish is rather it's very thick. Uh, in the center there yeah and I could already see now guys that this would actually be great for like a, uh, a soup fish soup of some sort excellent see how thick that is it's awesome it's another piece there and this right here to me is you know I could have already cut it but it's just ideas that come to mind when you're in the kitchen that's what it's all about but it'll just be less to deal with, you know, when it's done. And you know, my opinion. But maybe if you if you want to cook it for um show, you can leave it whole. You know. However, it's no right or no wrong way. I'm trying to keep this in here, guys, so you guys can see what I'm doing instead of picking it up. But anyway, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to put it in a, like I said, a roasting pan with a cover on it so that steam can, uh, once it comes up, it cooks and goes back down into fish. All right. Now, let's just put a couple of pieces of the, of the finger peppers. Uh, I'm not going to cut up another one just to um, have a few, so I'll just take some from what I have. Now, hopefully you guys can see that there. Now, I had my orange here. I just cut it in half, and I'm just going to put some on top like such. I'm watching out for uh, the seeds, of course. Okay. Like some people do it like this. No, I ain't. I don't have time for that, guys. So all you gotta do is just look out for it, you know. All right. Now, I think that's good. What do you guys think? Come on, happy eaters, let me know something. But I think I will put a little bit more of the Tony Creoles, the blackening season on it, just a little bit. Okay, now, once again, let me reiterate, I have the oven on 425, been going for about 15 minutes, so I'm just going to put this to the side. Oh yeah, before I forget, I do have some time here that I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to comb through and just put a little bit 
on top of the mahi mahi like such. Just a little bit. All right, let's get this bad boy in that roasting pan. Okay, hopefully you guys can see the mahi pieces in there. Like I said, we have three, four, five, six pieces. And, you know, technically, guys, like, the mahi, this is a nice piece of fish. And, yeah, I could have put it in a, probably a better pan and whatnot. Because, I tell you, there is not one kitchen gadget that my roommate does not have for every single item that you have. But, being that I'm just a country, down-earth girl... I'm all about just getting it done. And I, I don't care how much money I were to come into. I'm always going to just cook the same because it always has worked for me. You know, I'm sure you could do this in a cast iron skit, whatever. But, you know, this is what I have. So, and this is just how I'm going to cook it. And we're going to see what the outcome is going to be. We're going to go in the oven for 15 minutes. All right, hold tight. Guys, I don't know if you can hear the timer going off, but the mahi is ready, supposedly. But we're going to check. But if you guys can see over here, what I did was um, I have some veggies with rice in it. It's just some peas and carrots, a bag, and I cooked some rice. So it's like one cup of rice per this one bag of, um, sorry, this one bag of carrots and peas. And I cut up one, um, some celery, um, probably about half a cup, and one small onion, and probably about four or five mushrooms just put that in there so i don't know if you guys can get, look at this here but that's what's going to be on the side okay now let's get that mahi out and take a look at that and see what we're working with hopefully you guys can see it here this is absolutely ready you guys see that there And you can just take a fork, actually, to test it and see if it flakes. So, yeah, perfect. Mm hmm Quite yummy, guys. Quite yummy. But there you have it. We have some roasted oven uh, mahi baked and some rice with veggies on the side. Another great idea. Didn't take long at all. I said the fish was on, what, 425? Uh... 15 minutes and rice that's it quick and simple guys another great idea for your table you guys think finger forking good mm-hmm yes indeed yes indeed